Look at you, the shrimps. Yeah, Ooh. shut up. It's, it's already gone through the Hollywood machine. They've already turned into a sex okay. symbol. You see how fast that happens. That Shia in 2003, a barely known sarcastic 17-year-old, beginning a serious emergence on the Hollywood scene after starring in Ben Affleck and Matt Damon's film, The Battle of Shaker Heights. He's uh, grooming you to take over his sexiest man alive spot. It's a mistake because I look like mini Gary Shandling. It's that quick wit that got Shia attention early on in his career, landing him an agent at 11, his own Disney Channel sitcom, even Stevens at 13, Shia told us that he and his father lived in this rundown LA motel while he shot the sitcom. You guys lived in a hotel for three years while you did the Disney a stuff. A motel, the Motel Vista, and yeah, I was a dump. Three years is a long time. I got back problems from that mattress. <laughs> Shia had a troubled childhood dealing with his parents' divorce and his father's reported alcoholism and addiction to heroin. At his first arrest in 2005, the teen admitted he often turned to work for peace of mind. Like when I'm not working, I'm depressed. I swear to God, that's how it is with me. Chaya's rise to stardom exploded when he was cast in three consecutive Spielberg produced blockbusters Disturbia, Transformers, and Indiana Jones 4. But with his newfound fame also came more brushes with the law. He was arrested in 2007 for refusing to leave a Walgreens pharmacy. The charges were later dropped. It's wild that I'm talking about this while I'm promoting Indiana Jones. And that's embarrassing. But that's egg on my face that I got to deal with, and, and I'm learning to deal with it. And it's a responsibility that's new to me. And I'm 21 years old, and I'm growing. Shia left the Transformer franchise after three installments. In January of 2014, Shia announced he was retiring from all public life. One month later in Berlin, he wore a bag over his head at the premiere of his film Nymphomaniac that read, I am not famous anymore. Four months later in New York, another arrest for disorderly conduct. Shia, were you on drugs? In July of 2014, Shia checked himself into rehab for treatment for alcohol addiction. You think you should have been arrested, Shia? More arrests followed, including this one in 2017, where a police body cam in Georgia recorded Shia in cuffs, arrested for public drunkenness. You feel good about life? Mm -hmm. You feel patriotic about this shit. Shia talked about his struggles with Ellen this week. You, I got arrested you in got Georgia. Ar you got arrested? For terrorizing a police officer, mm -hmm. and uh, which is a felony charge, and they said, you know, you, you got a problem. And then they sent me to this place, and they said, you got PTSD, we got a solution. It was during that time Shia wrote Honey Boy. It's about that time with his dad at age 13, living in the motel and shooting the Disney show. Has your dad seen this? Yeah, he's seen, I seen him see it, yeah. Basically had him set up a web camera and then watched him watch the whole movie. And, you know, he, he didn't say much, but I know he's, he felt like I saw him, you know? Like yeah. I really saw him, like I got him. Right. And uh, was very teary-eyed and it was, it's a love letter.